He lost? But how? How could the conqueror be conquered? He's insurmountable, incontestable, invincible! But then that means... Oh my! Goodbye then! Do see to it that... Uh... Going somewhere, tactician. Master, I I was just coming to make sure you were all right. Are you hurt? Yes. Rally our forces in the capital. We will put an end to this here. <laughs> At once, my master. Only, have you considered perhaps waiting just one day? I do have the Tynus and their men on the way. With them to help us, we... Have you seen the battlefield? No, I suppose not. Take your head from wherever it's lodged and peer out into the daylight, Snake. I'm sure your mighty intellect will quickly understand what's happened. Though if you had half the metal of that Ulyssian tactician, you'd already know. Though if you had half the metal of that Ulyssian tactician... Yes, sir. The Dynas, sir, from the Southlands. They are making the siege to the capital. <laughs> But that's... that's impossible! We had an agreement, just like I had with... Oh dear! The Southern Dynas, did they find out about Yenfei? This boggles my mind. Do you recognize them? How do you mean? I say, they're from the Southlands, states that betrayed us from the Empire. Or so I thought. Oh my. Well, their alliance seems clear enough now. Fine. I could hardly believe it. Theirs are the lands my brother commanded. Finally now, they come to answer the call. Very nice. Finally is right. It's taken a lot of hard work to get here, Seiri. A lot of sacrifice. From you, from Basilo, from your brother. Don't forget this moment. Aye, my lady. Aye. Are you ready? No. Let us finish what we began. To the capital, friends! Good morning, everybody. It's Men and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, we took down Walmart the Conqueror. And in this episode, we're probably going to take him down again, because he has no one to quit. But it really puts it into perspective, like, you don't really think about it all that much because we only go into battle with, like, only 15 units. But we got a whole stinking slew of people who are trying to make this uh, war come to an end and that are on our side trying to help us along the way. And it is very much appreciated. So, now that they're finally on our side, let's go ahead and enter Chapter 20. But first, supports Anantiki, Rank C. Ooh. <laughs> mm, I see. Interesting, very interesting. Hey. Is there also I might add, I might aid you with, my lady? You've been circling around my person for some time now. What? Apologies, oh exalted one. I'm just basking in the glow of the Divine Dragon's Oracle. I see. I am unused to such rapt attention. You stare at me as one might an exotic creature in a man in a menagerie. I would call anyone who's been alive for, for a millennia exotic, wouldn't you? <sighs> My lifespan should not prelude you from treating me as an ally or friend. For I came here in the capacity, and not as that of an oracle. Ooh. Then can I get your autograph as a token of our new friendship? Huh? My autograph? Yes. It's easy. All you have to do is write down your own name. Yes. I suppose I might grant such a request. Really? Yay! Hee <laughs> hee! Here, the here. This should be enough to get you started. Heave ho! <laughs> By the gods, I've never seen such a mountain of paper. You didn't mention needing more than a single autograph. Ooh. Yeah, but I never said I didn't either. Come on, be a sport, please. <laughs> well, I suppose I did give my word. Come again. Whew, you're the best, Tiki. I have nothing but the deepest admiration for you. Pleasure doing business with ya. <laughs> huh? 
business. Strange, the word stirs memories of a merchant I knew long ago. And yet, with uncountable years behind me, memory is oft a kind of fog through which... What's your problem? Hey, come on now, less talking, more signing. Chop, chop. Like I said before, Anna is a character that's been in every Fire Emblem game as a traveling merchant. She has a bajillion sisters that are all uh, identical to her and all named Anna, just like Nurse Joanne offers her Jenny. So she is somehow connected to Tiki, even though this one specifically that's in our party uh, may not have known her. Uh, one of her ancient ancestors certainly did. Whether or not they were on good terms, I'm not entirely sure. But I think you could assume uh, how that relationship turned out. Uh, once an Anna, always an Anna, I suppose. If that makes any sense. But yeah, I want to give Krom a uh, Seiri's Noble Rapier. I'm going to trade that for the regular one. And I'm sure that'll be much more well suited in his possession. Uh, let's see. We got pretty much everything's in tip top shape, I would say. Um. I think we're good to just keep on going. Uh, Nosferatu's is already at five already? Jeez. I guess she did a lot of work in that previous chapter. Uh, Noe's Dragon Souls at 11. I should probably rekindle that. Uh, here's the thing. I'm getting, like, flashbacks. Could... Okay, she could use regular Dragon Stones. I don't think Noe could use... Dragonstone Plus, though. She can? That's good to know. It's just that, how do you get a Dragonstone Plus? I don't think you can just pick them up. But, yeah, let's go ahead and buy some of those, because we could use them, along with more Nosferatus. Take your time. Oh, and there's a couple of other new items in here. A Brave Sword, Brave Lance, Brave axe. Lest the wielder to strike twice. I want all of these. And we'll take the dragon stone as well. Uh, two of them, why don't we? I guess that's gonna be it. Won't sell anything. Uh, not really. Guess we're good. Perhaps I should be checking the Anna shops more often, but that requires walking. All that taken care of, let's head into Chapter 20, Valm Castle. Shouldn't it be the arrow or the knee? <laughs> they... There must be several hundred thousand soldiers out there! Would they dare? Is it... Is it possible? Is it possible it was Yen Fei they feared all along and not me? Without him to back it up, your threat was only the grand shadow of a tiny spider. Tiny spider, is it? Well, this spider has woven other webs and secrets you could not even... You mean how you blackmailed Yenfei to keep his loyalty? Or perhaps your correspondence with the Plesian woman? Aversa, was it? Yes, I know you have designs on the Fire Emblem. You have no secrets from me, Worm. But, but, but I, 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 I don't know if you knew all that. Why? This is nature. Why haven't I killed you? I've asked myself the same thing several times. But you're no threat to me, and I admit you have your uses. Besides, I'm not one for court jesters, but you do amuse me. Not these fools! Amuse you? I amuse you like I'm a jester? Are you amused now? With a million swords at your door, come for your head? You've lost, lost, and all of you are going to die! All of you! All of you! But not me. I want no part of this suicide. Why, Exodus, did you just volunteer to lead my personal guard against the rebels? <laughs> what? No, that's... Stand up and fight. 
Unless you'd rather fight me right here, right now. Mercy, mercy, forgive me, my master. A moment's madness only. It will not return. I am inexorable. Then it's settled. We have our new captain of the guard. Congratulations, captain. You'll be right at my side until the fray is upon us. Do give our guests a warm welcome, Snake. Perhaps offer them some of your tea. Ha ha, my equal, Pa. Really? They forgot who I am. I could have fried them both where they stood with my magic. We will crush these rebels. We must crush these rebels. Or maybe... If Walmart is sufficiently injured, I might amuse him with a spell. Yeah, either way, this spider crawls out alive. <laughs> Yay, we can still have the entire party. Okay. Uh, we're infiltrated the castle now. We are infiltrated the castle now. We have infiltrated the castle now. These are a lot of guards, though. Exilus is here with Balogna. Is how you like to refer to it as. And we also have Walmart back again. Uh, Mustache Man is also here, right? Somewhere around here, possibly. Uh, I guess it's not really main priority, but... Oh, there's treasure chests. Got one, two, three, four of them. Anna, you're going to be busy. Uh, let's go ahead and pair you up with Tiki. I don't really like their communication sessions, but I guess it's better than nothing. Uh, Krom is going to be with Lucina. Krom's only got one uh, communication session unlocked. I'm so used to like having a bajillion of them unlocked one after another. Uh, Longku with Longku with Cherish, but like, where do I want them? I think I'll put Robin over here. Cherish. Uh, Livia, we're going to. Uh, put you with pain over here. Tharja. Tharja is probably going to be on her own again because she's a strong, independent woman who don't need no ally. Longku. You're good where you are. Frederick and Sumia. Let's see if we can do better this time. Uh, Lissa and Noe, I guess. And I think that's it. Real quick though, I want to see if I could give, if I have any new lances I could give to him. Specifically, because there are no uh, cavalry units in here. Since we're indoors, how polite they don't bring their horses indoors. Uh, but yeah, armor slayers would be very useful in this area, so. Uh, we're going to want to make sure someone has some armor slain items, like Anna. I should give her this. Trade it for the second seal. Uh, Longku? I like him with his killing edge, though. It's a signature thing. Uh, who else is a sword user that I could give it to? Sayri? Sayri's got enough swords, though. She's got, like, a bunch of different ones that I, like, have her use. I guess that means I'll give it to... Um, I guess Lanku's our other option. Trade for another Armor Slayer. Uh, this one's just in the convoy. Uh, Sumia, I wanted to see if I could give her a new weapon, wherever she is. Uh, silver, oh, her silver is about to run out as well, so that's duly noted. Uh, we did get the Brave Lance. Oh, yeah, we got all those Brave items. I'm gonna give that to you, then. If you enjoy your new weapon. Uh, we also got Brave Axe, either to Cherish or Lissa. Who would benefit from it more, I wonder? Uh, 
I'm gonna go with Alyssa because her she's more at risk of dying more often than not, so I kinda wanna give her the stronger axe. Uh imposing absurdly broad axe. Good to know. Uh it's a D rank though, so she she probably couldn't even equip it. Didn't we get a brave axe? Yeah, there it is. But she can't equip it. Could Cherish equip it? Uh, she can. Guess we'll give it to her. Uh, in that case, I'm gonna give Lissa Cherish's silver axe. If, oh, she can't equip it, though. She could use the imposing axe, though, so I guess I'll have that be in the background. Unless that's not as good. Hmm. It's only 35 hits, so maybe I'll let her keep the Iron Axe. As for the Brave Sword, we got enough swords as it is, so... Just like Smash Ultimate. I guess we're good to go. <laughs> I see Walmart still sealed in his throne room. It doesn't seem like he's thinking about to... Thinking about... Escape. Okay, I guess that's grammatically correct. Whoa. And his soldiers, they look ready to die before they'd surrender. One must admire their loyalty, at least. Right. He does inspire that in people. It's part of what makes him so dangerous. <sighs> he inspires that in some people. Mm. Yes, in some, but not me. Defeat the commander. Now that I think about it, I think it'd be very well suited to have Seiri take down Exilus, so let's see if we can make that happen. Change of plans a little bit. Robin, go with Seiri. Go up here and see if we can take them down. Uh, Killing Edge Amatsu. I think Amatsu would be the most fitting for this area, so we're going to go with that. Oh, that's a cool-looking sword. I am indebted. That is a really stinking cool-looking sword. Uh, Robin is well-equipped, so I don't have to worry about her too much. Uh, let's go Pain and Olivia. Uh, armored units, not uh, Olivia's strong suit. Not her strong suit either, but Tharja has no problem kicking butt. I like the darkness when it's on my side. As the song goes, embrace the dark, you call a home. So, uh, back to my story. Actually, real quick before I go on, uh, finish my Bravely Default story, I kind of wanted to, uh, mention something I've noticed with voice acting. I've been having a very tough time voicing a lot of these characters because they're so singing deep and graggly and groggly or whatever the word is, and it's very painful on my voice. But, um, I had a recording session with, like, there was a guest speaker at my school, and, um, I was reading off a scene from Batman, I was, like, reading Joker and Harley Quinn, I was just reading for Joker, and someone else was reading Harley, and when the Joker voice I used, like, it was, it was a completely different area in my, like, throat that was able to create the scratchiness, like, the deepness that I was aiming for but it didn't create the pain that usually comes with doing that voice that's been happening throughout this entire LP. And it was very, very helpful. It just like refreshed my mind in that. Cause like, I don't know what it is. Cause like, I remember doing those Phoenix Wright recordings that were like six hours long and I had no problem doing it. But when uh, trying to voice stuff nowadays, I get in so much pain. It's so singing painful, but I don't know if I used this technique back then. I just forgot about it over time or if I was just like younger back then and it was actually able to do it easily back then and uh, just the years getting on and getting old and all that jazz it uh, made it uh, sort of difficult to keep up with that but uh, no I was actually able to uh, pull off that voice and I've been using that technique in uh, I've been using that technique when recording these characters right now and I've had no throat problems I, I feel really perfect actually right now so 
I'm very happy about that. So I got a lot, I got some new tricks up my sleeve for uh, recording voice acting. Like I'm no longer like dreading recording sessions because like whenever I go into this one, that's sort of why this LP got was like a bit slow in recording, just because it was really stinging painful in my voice, and I sort of didn't want to like absolutely destroy. It. But these past couple episodes, I recorded like five in a row at this point, and I'm still completely fine. So uh, hopefully it still sounds the same on recording uh, the, the voices I'm aiming for, and I could just uh, continue to use these uh, techniques in future recordings. I don't think I'll be... I'm definitely not going to finish uh, recording the LP tonight. Maybe tomorrow? I'm not entirely sure. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. But now she's taken care of. So yeah, my Bravely Default story in which I was searching for the collector's edition for so many years because I didn't get it when it uh, first came out because like I... At the last second, decided not to get it, and I very much regretted it. But um, uh, something changed in which I just a few months ago I saw it on eBay for like I don't know it was like thirty dollars. No, it was it was thirty. It was like forty or something. And I really don't want to spend that much, but I was just sick of like looking for this because like I was look seriously looking on and off for years, and it was just like such a big time waster, and I wanted to finally just be done with it. So. I uh, placed a bid on it. It wasn't even a buy it now one, so I had to bid against another person. Um, and I was just ready to finally get this thing so I could stop uh, stretching out over it. But literally, like, a few minutes before the auction ended, I just randomly searched it up again on eBay to see if uh, any new listings for the collector's edition went up. And somebody put it up for a buy it now price that was only $20 or so. And I grabbed it, and I finally stinking got a hold of... Bravely Default's Collector's Edition, and I am so stinking happy I finally have that. I got Bravely Second's Collector's Edition, which is a freakishly huge box. I don't know why they went all out with that, but it uh, it's cool. Oh, a beard guy was here. Let's have at it then, rebellious scum. Like a flimsy belt around the waist of defeat, you shall buckle here. Uh, he's got the Tomahawk of Death. But yeah, I finally got a hold of it, and like, I got Bravely Seconds uh, Special Edition on release, so I didn't have to worry about that. Uh, it was just with Bravely Default, and I'm like, I'm so happy I'm finally done with that. I wish I got Persona 5's Collector Collector's Edition. I don't know if I could ever get a hold of that one, because that was... That's really unfortunate, Frederick. Why are you suddenly failing all this uh, all the time? Uh, can I fight with a previous wound? I'm sorry, but I must withdraw. Was it just the weapon? I feel like I might have messed up here or there at some point. I feel really bad about that. Oh, uh, Cherish! That is not good. Oh, I do not want to lose Cherish right now. Please don't do this to me. Thank you. Uh, was not... Uh, losing this fight wasn't really on my radar. Uh, I wasn't thinking about that, but now that this is happening, um, I'm kind of nervous. Thank you. At least they're missing. I do appreciate a good miss. So I pretty much got everything I want to say. Like I finally got the collector's edition. The only other collector's edition that uh, has come and gone that I would uh, want to get is Persona 5's. But I don't even know what came with it. Like I'm gonna have to look that up. I saw an, the art book uh, for sale in GameStop, like just on its own. I don't know if that was like a thing I, that's still there. Like it is a continuous thing that's being stocked up. But or maybe maybe someone like returned it and like they just kept it in the store. I'm not sure. So. Maybe I missed out by not picking that up when I saw it. I'll have to see what the collector's edition was. I know it came with, like, a Fusion Academy bag, but, like, I got a much higher quality one on a uh, PlayAsia, I think. And that's, like, my go-to school bag. Uh, I know it came with a Morgana plush, like, a little tiny keychain. i not to uh, hunt up about that. I'll, I guess we'll just have to see. I did get my copy of Persona 5 signed by Xander Mobis, though, which is really cool. I'll have a picture of it right here, just in case you don't believe me. But it was really stinking cool. I actually got to see him in person. I was also in line to see David Hayter, the voice of Snake. But uh, I was in the way back of the line. He had to go like a few minutes early, so I missed out on him, unfortunately. Uh, but that was cool. I got to see him. Uh, what do I want to do? There's a lot of stinking dudes here. Um, where's Sumi? Sumi's right here. How many archers are there? There's two. Mustache Man is right here. Let's switch to Robin. Robin, I always say. Uh, let's... Let's figure out what I want to do. Let's go get rid of this archer. I've got 
Take your turn for every time I say, let's, let's Luther. Hope will never die. It's a great quote. I also love this stinking music. All this stinking Sons of Fire Emblem are amazing. I don't like giving nearly as much attention as I really should. Cause like when I'm talking over and like with, um, it's not all that loud in my headphones right now. So it's not like big and booming. So I'm not like uh, completely focusing on it, but it is so stinking phenomenal and it should be recognized as such. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. Uh, thank you for dodging. Here's how it's done. I am finished. Eh, but I have no regrets. I die in the shadows of greatness. The uh. 69 was there. Robin's at level 19. She's almost about to be uh, maxed out once again. I could change her class if I want to, but I don't really want to, so, uh, let's see. Sumia, can you take out, you could take out this guy. That's good to know. Uh, you could also take out this guy. So I'm putting you in line of fire. Tharja might be able to beat you halfway. Oh no, Tharja can't move anymore. So, get rid of this guy. Might be kind of dangerous by putting you more in the line of fire, but uh, let's see if that's really going to be the case. Oh, geez, Sumia, that was a lot of damage. That's unfortunate. Now have chairs get rid of this archer because they're the most threatening to these two characters. I probably should have switched to Long Ku just to keep her safe a bit more, but oh well. Same. I have quite made a bit of progress. Uh, where's Lissa? She's all the way over here. That's not good because she's our healer. It's Lissa and Noe. I want to know who's in range. I can't even see it. Um, it will. would heal Sumia, but not Cherish. Slightly far, too far away. So we'll hold off for now. If I, if I end up using that, I want it to actually be worthwhile. Let's see if we can get rid of them. Unfortunately, we can't in one hit. Uh, three is at red. Okay, that's definitely a good sign that this is going to be the last recording of the day. Uh, who else? It's Tiki. Tiki could just murder them. Cool. I like it when Tiki murders people. It's very fun. Okay, uh, didn't dodge it, but not that much damage in the grand scheme of things. And she gets a level up. You could change Tiki's class if you want to, just like any other unit, but I don't want to, because then she can't be a Manichetti anymore. Well, she's still a Manichetti, she just doesn't use the Dragonstone. That's unfortunate. It's always me who goes, no, Sumi, you've been amazing in this chapter, in this Let's Play. You've been amazing. I'm really happy that I actually got to use you properly this time around. So don't beat yourself up over it. That was my fault. Okay. Goes the tomahawk. Oh, I love tipping the scales. Oh my god, Robin, you were amazing. Up next, we have this guy. Gonna do a little bit of damage to Lucina, but nothing too detrimental. So seeing close. Okay, we got Tiki. Gonna take this guy down, probably. Hopefully. Uh, eventually. Great. One stinking HP. Cherish, I beg of you. Okay, 13%. Thank you. Uh, oh, that was a thief. Yep, that's a thief. Uh, I have the charger, the 3DS charger down here, so better be safe than sorry. If I could grab it, thank you. Stick that in there. Great commentary. Uh, there's no thief on this side. Uh, okay. Let's see, we can't reach him quite yet. Uh, let's go over here. Hit this guy, I guess. Let's finish him off. It's unfortunate. I kind of wish we were able to heal. Well, we could have healed Sumia, but... Army feels like they would have just gained up on her anyway because she was alone if she survived that first hit. So I'm going to keep on telling myself that I didn't make a terrible choice. 
Uh, let's go. Tharja can only hurt this guy, so we'll take him out. There you go. And there you go. You never. Have to, I love that you never have to worry about her HP going down. I don't know if you can change Robin into a Dark Mage. If you can, I, I'll try it, but I don't know if you can. But her using Nosferatu would be amazing. There's no one else in here, so I really shouldn't go this way. Let's go over here. Just so we could help out these guys. Uh, Cherish. You could take him down, though. That's why. Okay, Armor Slayer. Long Q. Switching it up a bit. Not using your killing edge, but you're going to be just as good. And you get a level up, which is nice. Who's next? We got... It's just these two. Okay. Uh, I want Sayri to be... Oh, God. There's a lot of sinking dudes up protecting this dude thingy. Uh, I'm going to... Do I want to attack Lucina or Robin? Robin's almost at level 20. Switch to Sayri, have her take him out. Uh, close. Oh, we got went from a 69 to a reverse 69. Do I want Lucina leading the charge? Not really. I don't want them all to just like completely murder me. And they have lances, so it's good against swords. I'll wait right here. Hopefully that's not too terrible. Uh, thank you for guarding. And I love that uh, combo right there. That was a really good combo meal. Uh, we got, is that an archer? Yes it is, god darn it. At least Cherish isn't out in front. There were a couple of archers I saw over there, so... Uh, let's go over here. Thank you, we can finally get rid of this stinking thief. Probably the least of our concerns, though. The items are never really all that great, but I still like going after them. If we have the ability to. So that guy's done. Uh, Tiki will take out this guy, probably. Um, they're playing smart. They're gonna make us go to them. Hmm. Let's go over here. Have Lissa heal uh, Lucina. Just cuz... I wish Anna was here so she could heal these two up, but... Um, let's go Olivia? Uh, let's try Soul. Oh, thank you! Oh my god, Olivia, you're thinking awesome. So happy that I'm actually using you this time around. Uh, Tharja, we will... Well, I never have to worry about Tharja, but uh, switch to Nosferatu. I could spam the heck out of out of that if I want to. I'm very happy about that. Did not mean for that to rhyme, though. Uh, there's one more archer. Hmm. I'll stand right here. Uh, phooey. How far can you move? You can move. You can move pretty stinking far, actually. Oh, well, can you? Huh. Uh, let's go up here, I guess. And up here. Hopefully, I don't regret that. We can do it. Thank you for dodging. Thank you for the critical. Oh, double critical. Sayri is not messing around. Three stinking hits. And yeah, they're all just going after her. But she never has anything to worry about. That's a 0% chance of hitting us. That's how stinking great she is at dodging. Uh, Tiki, we have no, uh, I don't have to worry about you because you're awesome. 
and uh, protection. That's also really nice. Just combo in like crazy. Get all that. Level up. Just being in the heat of battle like this. Well, I'm happy to have you back, Tiki. You're also one of my favorite characters in Fire Emblem Heroes. I swear, I just, I just use... Oh, hello. You think I'm afraid of you? Come then, come at me! Uh, I don't think Lunku's gonna counterattack because they're attacking from a distance. Thank you for dodging, though. Uh, we'll see if we could have Seiri finish them off. Thank you for coming forward, though. Okay. But yeah, like in Fire Emblem Heroes, I use, like, only mages and dragons. Those are, like, the only characters I actually like using. Okay. Go and get a level up for Lucina. Strength serves more than me alone. Just waiting for all these guys to finish up their attacks. Like, so many sneaking enemies. Uh, I'm Tharja, and I'm angry. There we go. I love that I never have to worry about her. She's just, like, insanely powerful. I think she almost breaks the game. She's, like, way too sinking good, especially with Nosferatu. Uh, an axe user. Nothing we have to worry about. Just get all them stats. Uh, Seiri. Thank you for dodging. Oh, boy. Just throw that stinking... That's so stinking amazing. You're just... You chucked it four times, Seiri! You're insane! I love this thing, but I hate that it's gonna break at some point. Oh, this should not be a breakable weapon. Lombo, we don't have any archers, but who cares when we got kick butt mages and sword slingers. Oh, I love this team so stupid much. I love that the feeling hasn't been lost to me. Like, every time it happens, it's like, it's so satisfying seeing the criticals and, like, having characters survive, get them level ups. Like, I really sink and love it. I love this thinking group, and I uh, maybe I'll get more attached to the other characters if I do repeat playthroughs. Like, the personalities alone are enough to make me like them, and... Oh, boy. Uh, we're going to uh, have to deal with more of them soon, but right now, switch to Anna. Open up this door. And we'll get that in the next turn. Seiri, it's been a long time coming, but Exilus's head is yours. Take them down. You? You and Yenfei cost me everything! Yenfei. I only pray that my brother is watching. Yenfei, guide my hand! <laughs> Congratulations, Seiri. You must you stink it you're stinking amazing. She does so stinking much, goes through so stinking much, and she always just wants to do more. Like even though she comes so late into the story, she's definitely one of the most memorable characters in this game for me. I absolutely love uh, how she's in battle and her personality. She's just a phenomenal sinking human being. <sighs> what do we got left? Uh, just these two. So I could... I could get away with messing around a bit. Just run over here. Experience spot, okay. Uh, I'll let Olivia take this guy down. Uh, stand over here so you can get further in. And there you go. Level up for her. Beep -a -deep -a -deep -a -deep. I thought I'd learn some new hips. I was like, what? Uh, Lissa, we will... Actually, do we want Lissa to take them down? Or... I guess Longku and Cherish. There you go. And finally, let's get these guys up here. Uh, unfortunately, the only one that needs healing is the healer. 
Uh, rallying up all those people, I guess. I'm not sure what that does, but whatever. Uh, we'll wait, I guess. Enemy phase. Player phase. Uh, let's get Anna in here. Open up this chest. We got spirit dust. Oh, this is actually worth our while. Uh, the reinforcements are gonna... I don't want Walmart to come in and attack us, so... I'm actually gonna wait. Uh, Beast Stone Plus! Was not expecting that. But heck yes, I can't wait to give that to Pain later. And here they come. Oh lord, they coming. Let's go over here. If I go up there, then Walmart's gonna come on down and kill us, so... Or rather, we're gonna kill him and the battle will be over, so... Just keep on ending. You're gonna have to come to us, buddies. We ain't afraid of you. That's all you got, just a couple of dudes. Let's get in over here. Actually, whose movement is better? Uh, speed 27 plus 2, 20 plus 4. So Anna's is better. So keep her out in front, I guess. Okay, wait it out. And, oh, that's unfortunate. I really hope Walmart doesn't come down here. Please don't, please don't. Also, don't kill Anna. That'd be really unfortunate. Okay, she survived, but... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, he's a 32% chance, but still. No, I don't want to challenge the Conqueror himself. Also, your horse is a funny butt. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, no, 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 thank you. Okay, they're still a coming. I don't want to fight Walmart. Not right now. Lissa, I want you to heal Anna. I don't think we'll be able to get those treasures. Beastone Plus, though, is phenomenal. I can't imagine something better than that that we could have gotten. So I'm happy with just that. But still, we're so close. Uh, but Walmart's coming down and attacking us now at full force. Uh, go ahead and wait right here. I know a lot of people will probably think I'm really stupid, but whatever. A soothing sword. Restores 10 HP every turn. That's cool. Uh, let's get rid of these guys, I guess. Might as well be doing something right now. Uh, we'll stand right here. Just so we could be paired up with other characters. Even though uh, Tharja doesn't need it. Yeah, but we're just getting the experience for Olivia. Uh, Sari could attack from a distance. It's amazing. Uh, but we're gonna go with Robin. Checkmate indeed. Get rid of that guy. Uh, we'll have... Oh, wow, Olivia could take someone down in one hit. Or not one hit, but rather just one uh, fight. One encounter, whatever you want to call it. Thank you for dodging. Uh, Togwell Booty, super fluffy. Oh, hello. Sorry, I didn't mean to do the first person view. Uh, just trying to scroll up here and go... Uh, yeah, sure. Do that. Uh, not do that. Let's do auto. That's the cool one. Who dies next? Uh, there you go. Level up. Man, we just kicked stinking bugs over Frederick and Sumia, but still, it's really cool. Oh boy. At least you're not going for someone who could hit you back. 87% though, Liss is going down. Uh, sorry about that, buddy. Kind of getting greedy here, but whatever. At least we can get away with it. Uh, oh god, oh, whatever. Shouldn't be. Oh, 5%. Yeah, no way they're gonna even hit us. Thank you. Don't even have to worry about you. Lucina, you are going to dodge, which is awesome. There you go. Up next, we got these two. Uh, back on the subject of, like, uh, Smash Bros. characters, I was just, like, thinking of how they could have made them different. I was thinking. 
Maybe to make the Fire Emblem character seem less un overwhelming, maybe they could have just made Krom like uh, similar to Lucina, which is just a palette swap like Olimar and Alf. But then that just reminded me of how much I want uh, all the different Pikmin captains to actually be playable characters in uh, Smash in Smash Bros. Like I understand it would have been like weird to like make them different. It wouldn't be all that logical. Like I kind of wish they had Olimar have six Pikmin like he did in Brawl and had the Pikmin whip, and then Alf would have just three Pikmin. Because he's like the more inexperienced captain, and then he would have the flying Pikmin though, because uh, those are his that he actually discovered and whatnot. That would be kind of cool in making them different, but uh, we can't have nice things, so I guess it'll never happen. Uh, let's go over here. Um, going to switch to Tiki. Try to take you out. Just do a little bit of damage. Uh, it is an axe user, so... Or he is an axe user, so... Anna might have been able to take them out if I tried. I just didn't think it through. Oh, okay, we're fine. Uh, what else now? Noe. Uh, look at this guy just hanging out up here. He's like, oh, he's got a... Nah, it doesn't matter. Don't care. Just gonna head down here. Noe, I want you to just... Well, you might kill Walmart. No, you're not gonna kill Walmart, but... Uh, I hate to have Noe as a meat shield, but oh well. I just really want those other two treasures. Any other characters? They all just sort of came to the middle. Uh, let's go and have Tharja attack this guy. I certainly do. How many times have I said that already, but whatever. Get that experience. 88. Once you hit 88 experience points per hour, you're going to see some serious stuff. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, cool. So we could take them all out if we're lucky. Or if we just plan ahead. Go get rid of this guy. Very good. Get rid of uh, this guy. Stay together. Here's how it's done. And finally, we will get rid of the other one with Olivia. Which is very cool to say that she can actually take care of guys. Okay. Go and do that. And we are good. I love seeing her get criticals. Uh, not quite, but we're good. And a level up for her! Level 15. Uh, Noe's the only one left to use the meat shield. Uh, we'll need one to open the door, two, we'll need three more turns. Oh boy. Can we do it? Let's find out. Maybe you could dodge if we're lucky. Oh, you survived. That's cool. I'm um, sorry about that, Noe. I just very greedy. And hopefully, these treasures will be worth it. Over here, switch door. Oh boy, this better be sinking worth it. Uh, all y'all just get down here. Uh, where is he? You two are the ones I'm most concerned about. Uh, mainly because I'm sure you could take him down no problem. Uh, okay, he went back up. I wasn't expecting that. This chest has a second seal. Wasn't worth it. Not sure what he's doing. Dragonstone Plus! Okay, it was worth it. Okay, hopefully no one will forgive me if I give her a Dragonstone Plus. Uh, you know what? Just auto this thing. Oh, that's why he went back up there. He went to go heal. And he's coming back down. Going for Lucina. Uh-oh. Uh, thank you for missing. Uh, she can't counterattack, though. Uh, let's go over here. Let's 
not quite reach that guy. I kind of want to just avoid him a bit because I want, I'm just super sick and greedy. I want to have like a completely clean sweep, get rid of this dude. So, and this. Okay, he's going for Tharja. Big mistake. And let's see if we can defeat him in the counterattack. I doubt it, but whatever. Level up. And she got Tome Breaker. What? And a Psychic that I don't really care about. Okay, Tharja, you want to finish him off again? Oh. That's unfortunate. But at least you survived. What is Tome Breaker? Uh, grants hit and avoidance plus 50 if the enemy is using a tome. Cool. Now, finally time to take down Walmart. Who gets the finishing blow, though? Krom actually can't one-hit KO him. That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, but maybe Lucina will jump in. I feel like he, Krom's the one leading the war, so I feel like he should be the one to get this finishing blow against Walmart. Let's do it. Walmart! Prince, will you surrender? A meager effort. Don't waste my time with my questions. You know the answers, too, boy. Listen to me. It did not have to be this way. You believe in mankind's strength. So did my sister. You believe that we are masters of our own destinies. So do I. You could have joined with us. Me? Join you? Does a Pegasus join with a flea on its back? A dragon with a cow it eats? You forget your place, boy. I am the conqueror. I will unite the world. Think again. I will. And not by forcing all the people to choose the sword or the knee. Peace will only come by stoking people's hearts, not their fear. <laughs> you think that's what you've done? What your sister did before you? No, she shouted some nonsense and leapt off a rock. Such weakness. Wrong. Not weakness, strength. That one act lives on and will live on longer than all your conquests. <laughs> and longer than you will. Come then, flee, and die for your peace. Now I'm angry. M. I tried. Yeah. Do you see? Often the sword is the only way. My conquest ends here. My lord. Walmart's soldiers have agreed to cease hostilities. Finally. Then pull our men back immediately. It's strange, Frederick. Walmart and my sister were complete opposites. One gave her life to stop a war. The other took lives to create one. And yet they both inspired those around them. Both walked a path to end all war. Both lived and died trying to unite the people. Yes. But as you say, Father, the method is the message. Your father suffered from beliefs similar to Walmart, and his legacy is plain to see. Hmm. Hmm. These are matters too weighty for this moment. There will be plenty of time for reflection now that the war is done. My gratitude. Sir Krom. A thousand thanks for every Valmis I couldn't repay what you did for us. But I recovered Vert, the gemstone that was stolen from Chosen's as a trophy. Hmm? You're giving it to me? 
Right. Of course, sir. It seems the fell dragon will soon threaten us all. I would feel safer knowing the gemstone was in your hands. Good. Then so be it. Thank you, Sayri. Are we packed and saddled? Our business in Valm is finished, but we have another task ahead. One perhaps even more dire than we faced here. To Yulistal! The war is finally over. But our ultimate mission is just around the corner. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we'll begin the final stretch of our journey. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.